Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2. Thank you very much for joining me in this episode. And today we're going to be continuing our exploration of Europe by taking this journey from Strasbourg in France over to Frankfurt. It's not the best journey in terms of the amount of uh, pounds we get per mile. As you can see, the best journey is chlorine, which is uh, £102.93 pence a mile. But that goes back to Canterbury along roads that we have been down before. So that's why I am trying to avoid it. So instead, we're going to be taking um, this one. The, the other reason I'm not taking Strasbourg to Le Mans is because I want to avoid all the um, toll booths. I'm really not a fan of toll booths. We'll eventually go back into France. Obviously, there's lots more to explore, but it looks like Germany has a lot to explore too. And of course, I want to see what's around the area and want to explore new countries. So we're going to Germany with 22 tons of oil. Make sure you stay tuned for this episode. And I think this journey should only take one episode, but we shall see. But make sure you stay tuned for that. Okay, so here we go, backing out of uh, something. Let's actually switch on our, our head tracking so we can uh, actually look around. Take a peek outside. We're not going to do any upgrades to our truck right now. I have repaired the truck. Uh, we're still in Strasbourg, so this is where I le left off in the last episode, but uh, we'll see what happens. And where do we need to go? Uh... Right. I think it's just this way, but I can't see any traffic. So I'm just going to pull out. There we go. Perfect. And uh, we'll keep indicating. Hopefully this does not go red on us. It didn't. And uh, actually we need to be in this lane. I have to admit, I could really, really do with some better head tracking. As you can see, it's kind of got me over to the side just because of the way I'm actually, I've actually got this head tracking set up. Um, just so that I can actually talk to you guys in the microphone because the microphone position for some reason today is not going uh, as, as it should be. Right, continuing on. And uh, hopefully we should pick up our cargo pretty soon. Now I'm assuming we can just go immediately into this lane, yep. Perfect, and we're going to turn off here. Now why are you waiting for me? Okay. Realistically, I think we should actually have some lights on, but I'm just going to leave um, just my side lights on at the moment. Right, where are we going? I think it's this turning here, followed by into that industrial yard, I guess. Yep, into this industrial yard right here. Oh, there's the trailer. I see the trailer. Okay, let's pick up our journey. Or our cargo for our journey, not our journey. That was stupid. Uh, right, here we go. That's the one. Ooh, let's see what we can change it to. So we can have the Elf one, which I really, really like the look of the Elf one. It's a completely different trailer, as you can see. But uh, we've got a choice of four trailers. Yep, the Elf one's the one I want. I'm sorry, but it just looks... It just looks so much better. That Elf one just looks so, so much better. Right, forward... Right. Let's have a look. Oh, that looks really nice. I, I just, I just like the look of it. And you know what this reminds me of? I am going to say, this reminds me of when, when you were driving at night on the motorway. And, uh, oh, what the heck is that? I've got this all wrong. Although, I wonder if that will connect. It did connect. Let's have a look outside. 
Yes, it's it's how I want it. Although I wish it didn't have the yellow lights at the top. I wish it was a uh, green red lights, just like I've got on my on my truck. But that is, yeah, that's that's uh, very reminiscent of things that I've seen. Okay. Now, the also the, the good thing about this, and let me just pull this forward a little bit, is that it is reminiscent, as I said, of Gun Run Motor in the United Kingdom because um, you see things like this right, let's just stop around here and they do they do some fancy things with the trucks for example as you can see the lighting everywhere it, they really do things like this it and it just looks great and I'm going to take a picture because why would I not take a picture Oh, which side though red lights or green lights red lights or green lights I think the red lights are better so we're looking at the uh, port side actually I think that plays to a picture a little bit better actually that plays to a picture much more than a little bit better right so if we bring that focusing plane right to the back of the trailer which is about there like that and then change that to about there and then take that picture that is going to be the thumbnail for this episode all right let's uh get this journey underway so here's a little interesting tidbit of information uh, those lights that you see on the back of the trailer are very very similar if not the same as the lights found on the back of a McLaren F1 although these ones are the LED versions now you might think um, that means the trailer is copied oh, which is clear now you might think that's because the trailer has copied the McLaren F1 to you know make it look a little bit more sporty not the case um, the McLaren F1 actually copied the trailer so it actually belonged, I think, if I remember correctly now, uh, and this is taking my knowledge back a little bit, I believe it copied a bus originally. So they were found on buses, and we still find them on buses uh, to this day. Some, some of the buses still have these, these types of lights. And I remember seeing these types of lights in, um, what, 19... I think when I first saw it on a bus uh, with LED lights, I think it was 1990... Oh dear, uh, 1999 or 2000, and these buses came out. Hold on, I'm just trying to remember what registration they were. Uh, they were X regs, so so yeah, it would have been 1999 or 2000 or about that sort of period. And these buses came out with these lights on it, and I thought, wow, they look like the lights that you find on a McLaren F1. That was uh, about eight years old, and I, I wasn't all I wasn't all too sure what you know that what the kind of lights were we don't need our lights anymore there we go right which lane do we need to be in I feel like we need to be working our way across there we go perfect Yep, so they basically had these lights, and I thought, wow, they look like a McLaren F1. Um, and it turns out, and I learnt this about a, a year, yeah, it would have been about a year, year and a half later, that no, they didn't look like a McLaren F1. By the way, this is really nice. I really like this. No, it wasn't that they looked like a McLaren F1. The McLaren F1's lights looked like the bus. So it, they came on buses and trucks, uh, truck trailers first, Oh, why don't you want to pull out there you go I guess that's safe enough and then they came on to um, uh, the McLaren F1 and then continued on the buses so there you go a little bit of information for you guys that you might, might not have known anyway we're continuing on our journey talking about lights um, just shows the kind of useless information or useless fluff that sits in my head I just sit there going, uh, let's see, what's new today? I didn't plan to tell you about that. Obviously, I didn't know what the back of those lights were going to be. 
Um, I just, when I saw them, I just thought, mm, maybe you guys would like to know. Oh no, we've got a toll booth. Why, 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 why? Oh, we're still in France, that's why. Okay, let's see if we can get this toll booth correct. Which lane do I need? Wait, that's got an arrow on it. That one there's got an arrow on it. Let's try this lane. Let me try this one. Okay, so that's the one I need. That's a really nice truck. I'm pointing at the truck, uh, a trailer again. Didn't I do this last time where I was pointing at something in another episode? That really does look nice. Come on, come on trailer, come on, come on, come on. Alright, please tell me we're entering Germany sometime soon. I can't take these toll booths. And I did, I did read a comment, someone going, this is actually very realistic, this is exactly what we have. Uh, in France, I feel or ex I think they went to visit France on holiday or something, and they they were running into these every twenty or thirty miles. I feel sorry for you fellows. I mean, how many toll booths do we have in the UK? Uh, we have there's one on the M6 toll road, which is not even the M6. It's a it's a completely separate road that avoids the city of Birmingham, uh, but it doesn't really need to be used, and I think the if I remember correctly, the road opens up into 15 lanes when it comes to the toll booth. So it goes from three lanes, three lane motorway, to 15 lanes. This is a wonderful area to drive in. Look at this. It's lovely. Where's the other road? I think the other road's down there. Again, I'm pointing, but I assume... I can't even see it. Wow, that's uh, different. I mean, I'm assuming it's down there simply because... There you go, it, it is down there. That's fancy, that's really fancy. Uh, yeah, speaking of toll roads, we've got the M6 toll... Mm -hmm, da -da. Sorry. Uh, M M6 toll road, which again, like I said, you don't even have to use. There's one on uh, the M25, I think it's M25 clockwise at the Dartmouth crossing, which is where it crosses the River Thames. But again, you don't have to use that. Uh, we're taking this junction. Yep, we're taking this junction. Wrong gear. Now it's the right gear. Uh, then we've got... Oh, end of motorway. Okay. Double check the road, make sure it's clear. Uh, then we've got one on... The M4. No, we don't. Yes, we do. I think there's an M on the M4. One of the one of the bridges on the River Severn. Uh, one of the ways through. Yes, that's how you do it. Okay. Uh, that one is a toll bridge. So it's it's a it's the bridges that are toll toll roads there. And that's again, that's two bridges and a private road, that's a toll road. Uh, then, do we have another toll booth anywhere? I think we've got maybe two or three more toll booths, but that's the entire UK. All of the UK is compounded or squished down into this many toll roads, which really isn't a lot. Have you noticed the contrails in the sky? That looks lovely. Still French police. When do we enter Germany? Where have the road markings gone? Oh dear. So yeah, those are those are the toll roads we have. Ooh, this is an interesting road surface. I feel like I'm on a road I really should not be on, but I saw a lorry coming the other way, so you know I can't I can't say whether or not this is correct. Don't try it. 
thought I heard somebody trying to overtake, they're not. Ah, here we go, back onto uh, road, Mark's Road. Hello. Um, yeah, so that's it. And honestly, it's, I think we're better off for it. Here we go, here's the uh, French-German border. Uh, where's the border? Is that it? Au revoir. I'm just trying to work out what's something in, uh, what's something in German that I can say. What's hello in German? Auf Wiedersehen? No, that, does that sound like German? That doesn't sound like hello, though. What does, what do the Germans say for hello? Guten Tag. Guten Tag. No, that sounds, that's a good morning, isn't it? This isn't like good, good, or something. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm offending all Germans, but I'll tell you something. Your roads, your roads are beautiful already. Well, I wonder what's up there. Is that a railway? That might be a railway. That's a railway because that's a train going overhead. Confirmed. Thank you. But just look at these roads, conifer trees, lovely little farm area, sweeping, following the, following the curvature of the land, DHL lorry, I think we'll see a lot of them in this, um, in this place, uh, Polizei, German police, we'll have to work between 6th, 7th and 8th gear here I think. Let's see what car have they got to pull people over. No, again, that's the Italian police. Right, I think something needs to be done about that, because the Italian police should not be here. Okay, look at this, rolling fields. This looks wonderful. This really does look wonderful. I'm very impressed with, with the way they've done Germany so far. 43. Looks like we're entering a town of sorts. I'm not too sure. Oh, this needs to be redone. Pro mods. Bit of problems on the uh, A37, it seems. Okay, now what's going on here? Uh, okay. This looks interesting. i tell you what I'm going to do is uh actually no i'm not going in fact yeah let's just check how far along the routes we are since we've got a couple of uh cars that need to turn so checking out the route 99 miles left to go uh and you know what how, how far how much have we covered we've covered a significant amount but what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to um do that in the next episode and we're going to change up our route a bit instead of going right uh, want to head over to, actually we're going to head over to that after so as soon as we've done that we'll head over there and we'll see what else we can find in frankfurt interesting frankfurt looks to be kind of well empty but we'll see in fact this might all just be part of Frankfurt. I really don't know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Euro Truck Simulator 2. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. Don't forget to support me on Patreon, www.patreon.com slash ecgadget. Your support would be massively, massively appreciated. It would help me out a huge, huge amount. And of course, you can have a look at the rewards that you will get. If you're not watching this on Twitch, you can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash ecgadget, and you'll find me on social media EC Gadget LP for both Twitter and Instagram. That's all from me and I'll see you guys next time in Euro Truck Simulator 2.